I'm filming two videos in one day and that means you're gonna get over the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trans Tuesday. I am sick, I am gross, I've got the flu, but I wanted to film so that's what I'm doing. And today, and today is a video. Now, I've seen headlines regarding this topic around different news sources and on social media. I have not personally looked into it because I don't want to get pissed off. So don't fact check me on my sources because I'm probably wrong. So if you want to know more information, like you should probably go actually like look it up because I didn't and I just don't want to be irritated. So I'm not going to. But today I wanted to talk about the trans bathroom controversy. There has been an article floating around that says lawmakers want to make it required, I can't remember where, to check children's private parts before they enter a bathroom. First of all, that's gross. Uh, second of all, please stop. Third, it's none of your goddamn business. I am very, very strict when I, it comes to me and the bathroom controversy because it shouldn't be a controversy because what's in my pants is none of your business. You don't need to worry about what's in my pants when I'm trying to piss. And that, and, and vice versa, like it doesn't matter, it's none of your business. We're all in this bathroom to do the same thing and that's use the bathroom, so why can't we just do that? I just want you to know that it's not trans people that go into a bathroom looking at other people's genitals. And if looking at other people's genitals is a problem in public bathrooms, that that's something cis people gotta deal with because trans people don't care. Trans people are too worried about people looking at our genitals than us looking at somebody else's. Like, it, it's just, it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter. People don't sit there and look at you and they're like, you shouldn't belong. I mean, unless you completely present as the opposite gender to whatever the bathroom is, which still, none of their business. Trans people being in bathrooms is not affecting your safety. Trans is not affecting your safety. One thing that I've heard a lot is that, oh, a trans woman using the woman's bathroom is a lie because it's just a man in disguise looking to go peep on women. Excuse me, you know lesbians exist? You know, women who like women? Wouldn't they also be susceptible to this, but it doesn't look like that's a problem. It looks like it's just with trans people. Whatever trans woman's going into the same bathroom as you is not going in there to look at your junk. She's going in there to use the bathroom like any normal human being would do. I know when I go to the bathroom, I'm going in to use the bathroom. I'm not looking at other people's genitals. Like, I, that's gross and perverted and pretty sure it's illegal, so I wouldn't. And it just irritates me a lot when people are like, trans people affect my safety in a bathroom. Because we don't, we're not gonna do anything to you. We're not gonna do something illegal, we're not gonna do something dumb, we're just there to use the bathroom, same as you. The idea that a trans person being in the same bathroom as you is violating your privacy is the biggest load of bullshit <laughs> I've ever heard. That's just as ridiculous as if a trans person said cis people being in their bathroom was a violation of their privacy. Like, it's not, and you need to get over yourself. I don't know, this is an issue that I'm really kind of like passionate about, but I'm also sick, so I'm trying to like not get too worked up because I don't need a headache. But point is, people should be able to use a bathroom with their identifying gender. I don't really see why that's an issue if we're literally just going in there to think of shit. Like, why, why do we care so much that we want to impose a law to look at kids' genitals before we allow them to go into a bathroom. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, would you consent to that? Would you, as a parent, consent to having an official stick their hand down your kid's pants to look at what genitals they have before they have to go pee? Like, really? Really? I just don't get why this is such a problem and why it's so hard for people to realize that we're literally just going to use the bathroom. And you know what would probably solve a lot of these issues? Adding gender neutral bathrooms to every place there is a bathroom. And I say this because trans people beginning prior to mid transition are not always comfortable using the same restroom as cis people because we're worried that cis people are gonna recognize that we don't belong. With a gender neutral bathroom, that's not a problem because anybody, any human being can go in there. So it doesn't matter and nobody's checking you out and it's not a problem. 
and I think if trans people had the opportunity to go into a gender neutral bathroom instead of share a bathroom with a bunch of idiots, they would. I'm not calling cis people idiots, I'm calling the people who think that the sharing bathroom problem is an issue idiots. Because like, we're literally there to poop. Like why, why do I have to have a separate bathroom for that? I mean, I'd go into a separate bathroom for that if there was one. You know? Cause like, if I go into a women's restroom, I don't look like I belong. Cause first of all, not a woman, not a girl, not female, like whatever. My assigned sex at birth does not determine anything. I don't appear as female. I look very androgynous and I sound like a guy. It, walking into a woman's restroom not only invalidates my identity, but creates skepticism. Making trans people choose a separate bathroom that doesn't correspond with their identity can be extremely detrimental to the trans person. And, and uh, it's just dumb. It's literally just dumb. I don't have another reason to back that up. Because I don't understand, like, if you've got another issue with it, Feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm definitely willing to have a rational discussion with a human being if they don't agree with me. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments. Like, tell me what do you think should be the thing. Like, I, I'd like to know another person's perspective because I just know mine and I know that I get really upset over it, but I would be willing to listen calmly to somebody else's explanation as to, as to what they think. I just, why is it, we're literally going to use the bathroom. We're not there to pee. We're not there to do anything. It's not a problem. Why, why do people make this such an issue? Why do people think it's okay to check children's genitals before they go and use the bathroom? Why is that a thing that exists? The trans safe bathroom controversy should not exist. The only person's safety that's being at risk being in a bathroom with trans slash cis people is the trans person's safety. There have been hundreds of stories of particularly trans women being beaten by other women who feel that they don't belong in the bathroom when they were literally just going to use the bathroom. And it's wrong and it's disgusting. The way that trans people are not treated as humans and that we have to be alienated even to use the bathroom. The freaking bathroom! I just, I don't get why everybody's so nasty. Whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm gonna get really upset if I keep talking, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Do you agree with me? What are your feelings on the trans safe bathroom controversy? Like, what do you think about the issue? Or if you disagree with me, be sure to let me know down there and we can have a rational discussion. I'm open to listening. And if you like this video a lot, you can be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post two new videos a week, one video on Tuesday and one video on Thursday. And if you want, you can follow all of my rants like this on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. The links to all of that is going to be in the description, so if you want to follow me, you can. And yeah, that's all I have. Sorry, I just got kind of upset, but like, I just wanted to talk about it, so I did. Okay, yeah, I'll stop now. I'll see you guys on Thursday, okay? I love you. Bye.